G'day, g'day everyone. What is going on? It's your favorite producer from Down Under, Jin, back with another video. And in this one, I'm gonna be showing you guys some VSTs that I personally use when it comes to making beats in FL Studio. Now, these VSTs are going to be free and I will be leaving download links to them in the description. So if you wanna cop them, feel free to do that. But yeah, if you are new to the channel, would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you get notified every single time that I upload a video. But yeah, with that being said, Let's get into FL Studio and let's get into these VSTs. Okay, so here we are in FL Studio. But to begin with, the first VST that I'm going to be showing you guys is Labs by Spitfire Audio. Now, if you watched the video from last week, you will know that I actually made that piano melody using Labs. If you didn't, I'll be leaving a card to it right above me so you can actually go and watch that one. But with Labs, it is a completely free VST and I'm going to be showing you guys the melody that I made last week using it. As you saw right there, you know, it is a really nice sounding piano. It's really realistic and it does actually change with the velocities with every single time you would adjust the velocities down below, it actually affects what the piano sounds like. It is a really decent piano for that sort of melody that I made. I did have to boost it in the actual software itself to 200%, but then obviously threw on some effects afterwards. But yeah, if you do want to cop that one, that is Labs by Spitfire Audio. You don't only just get the piano, you get a whole bunch of other sounds that is constantly updated. If you want to grab that one, link to it will be in the description. Feel free to grab it. It is honestly a really good plugin given the fact that it is free. Okay, on to VST number two this time. And this one is going to be BBC Symphony Orchestra from Spitfire Audio. Now, this video is not sponsored by them, but both of these plugins, both Labs and BBC Symphony Orchestra, are really good and they are both free as well. Now, if you've watched a lot of my previous videos, you would know that I do rely on BBC Symphony Orchestra quite a bit because it is a really nice, realistic sounding orchestral instrument. It practically has anything that you can think of in regards to an orchestral section. You know, it's got the tubular bells, it's got the percussion, it's got trumpets, violins, cellos, you name it, it has it. And yet again, I've used it before in a lot of my other samples that I have made. I will be cutting to a clip of that one right now. Okay, as you saw from that sample right there, it is a really nice sounding plugin. It's, you know, really crisp, really clean. It's authentic. It's not synthesized. It actually sounds like they recorded the instruments live, then obviously threw on some effects afterwards just to clean it up a little bit. But, you know, for the fact that it is free, it sounds really nice. The only downside with it is that you do have to fill in a survey in order to get the plugin. And then you have to wait 14 days after you've submitted that survey for them to send you a download link to your email. But I mean, hey, look, it is worth the wait because as we heard, it is a really nice sounding plugin. If you do want to grab that one? Link to that one will be in the description yet again, along with Labs. Okay, on to plugin of VST number three now, and we are going to the free ethnic flute selection from Soniscore. Now, on its website, they do say that you do need to have a full version of Contact, but I have the Contact 6 player and it does work for me. So if you do want to grab it, link to it will be in the description and just see if it does work with your version of Contact. But with the Ethnic Flutes from Soniscore, it is really nice. It is phrases. You don't actually get one shots and you do need to tune it beforehand. But other than that, you know, putting them in beats, just a small ambient textures are really, really, really nice. I'm going to be cutting to me using it in a beat right now. As you saw right there, you know, really crisp, really clean. I do reverb them out because I do want them in the back as ambient textures. I don't want them to be the forefocus of the track. 
But yeah, yet again, if you do want to grab it, it's the free ethnic flute selection from Soniscore. Link to that one will be down in the description. Okay, on to the final VST for this video. And this one is going to be the Duduk from Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. Now, just like the last VST, you are going to need contact to use this. But this one, I am certain, works with the free contact player. Now, this plugin right here is a snippet of the full Balkan Ethnic Orchestra. And if you know anything about that, you've more than likely heard their really famous violin, the Gypsy Romantic Violin, in a lot of trap and drill beats. But yeah, in all honesty, this one is really clean. It's really crisp. It's kind of like a demo version of the full one. But yeah, if you want to cop it, link to it will be in the description. And I'm going to be showing you guys what it sounds like in a sample right now. Okay, as you saw right there, you know, that flute is really crisp, it's really clean. I usually use it just like the Sonoscore flute, where I have it just as one shots, kind of like an ambient texture every now and then. But it's really crisp, really clean, and you can just imagine what the full bank actually sounds like. If you do want to cop the full bank, I will be leaving a link to that one in the description as well. But just a heads up, the full Falcon Ethnic Orchestra costs around 300 USD. But yeah, in all honesty, if you do want to cop this one, just the one sample, link to it yet again is in the description. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new here, would really appreciate it if you punch that subscribe button and also flick that notification bell so you get notified every single time that I upload a video. Just a spoiler for next week's video, I'm going to be breaking down a free contact library. Now, the reason I'm making it its own video and not actually including it here is this, this library, this bank is honestly hectic. The first time I opened it, my I was just confused with it going like, what the hell is this? But then once I actually understood it, knew that I needed to make a video with, you know, video of it because it's just really incredible. So keep an eye out for that one. If you want to know exactly when it drops, join the Discord, which will be in the description. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Yet again, if you are new, would really appreciate it if you subscribe. And I'll catch you all next week for that video.